All right, hey everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. As you can see, we have a uh, massive load of stuff that I have accumulated over the month of October all the way to November. So um, we're gonna look at uh, we're gonna look at a lot of Halo stuff. As you can see, that's the big theme of today. But um, I just wanted to go over some other stuff real quick. So I forgot last video. I forgot to unbox Spawn. Uh, I, I bought him. Uh, back in October, and he was supposed to be in the last video, but like I said, I just I forgot about him. Completely forgot about him. He was hiding in one of the bags I had him in, so I decided to open him, and now and we're still gonna check him out, but just real quick. Also, I have three uh, figures that don't have to do with Halo. One being this Studio Series I found at one of my uh, my Think Geeks, and then this Venom, which I've been really like trying to find all over the place, and so I finally found him. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just get to it, and let's start off with the spawn since we already uh, since he was supposed to be in last video. All right, here we're looking at spawn. I'm gonna go ahead and leave those two in the back right there, just so that it has to move everything. But so, so yeah, here's spawn. I'm gonna move him aside, and here you can see the packaging. It's uh, pretty cool, nice and different, uh, just like the other other Mortal Kombat stuff, except with the green tone to it, because uh, obviously spawn has like used green magic. Or I don't know something. I, I'm not a, I'm not uh, very knowledgeable in Spawn. I don't really know. I, I I just don't know anything about the character. And I I haven't even seen the movie, which you know. So I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know anything. Um, but this is the Mortal Kombat version, or the Mortal Kombat 11 version, and it just overall, really, really neat action figure. Like I said, I, I this is supposed to be in October's video. So when I found when I found him, I was like, ah, screw it, I'll just go ho go ahead and open him up. So I've actually had more time to kind of get used to this figure and like play with it and stuff. And it's pretty cool. The articulation is good. It's it's like you can do you can get him a lot of, in uh, quite a few poses. Um, it's like, it's just like the uh, other Mortal Kombat figures, so it's, you know, it, it's, it's just the McFarlane articulation, which again is very, it's, it's pretty good, all things considered. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can get him some pretty cool poses, at least as much, you can, as much as the, uh, articulation gets, because it's, it's that type of articulation, it's like, it, it, it's definitely quite a bit, it's quite a lot. Uh, I can't, I, I don't know if you can get him in, like, some really good crouching poses, but you could still get him in some 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 other neat poses. I mean, it's pretty cool. I just I say not crouching because you probably could, but I don't know. Just uh, you're like this is like a very rubber rubber waist piece right here. So I mean that's something that could definitely like you know even though even though it allows a lot of mobility, it's something that could mess up the piece over time. The cape is rubber, which is nice. I mean you know, I know many would prefer cloth, but you know just. For what it is, it's pretty cool. It does it does drape, so it or it does give that illusion of draping. So it's it's pretty cool. The sculpting is really good. Um, the painting is pretty neat. It's more of a like the white is more of a bone white or like an egg white. So it's not pure white, which I think is b pretty cool. I kind of like the promotional image though, where it was just like jet black with pure white. I don't know why something about that those those extreme contrasting colors just I, I always like those color combos. It, it's something about it is just like especially with like like um uh with spawn, it's it like it, it just looked really cool. But still the the painting and sculpting it's like I said it's just fantastic. Um, all he comes with is the little ma uh, mace weapon. I don't I don't think he comes with anything else besides like a stand. So I mean you know just typical McFarland stuff. Uh, but yeah, so overall, really cool figure. We're gonna go ahead and look at that Transformer, and let's get right to it. All right, and here we have the KSI Sentry. And as you can see, this, now if anyone has gotten the first, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Stinger um, version of this, I believe it's exactly the exact same. I haven't transformed it. But from what I see, I mean, it's the exact same mold, uh, just same body parts. It even has this thing for the little shuriken blade wings. The only new new uh, inclusions are the head, which as you can see, pretty cool head sculpt. And this claw thing, which is actually super warped. But other than that, this thing is pretty much identical to Stinger. 
So I mean, but I found it. I found it at my local Think Geek. So when this came out initially, I had seen it, and I wasn't sure about getting it. But when I found, when I thought to myself, man, maybe I will get it to do like some, maybe like uh, some possible uh, army building. Then they were sold out, or they never, they never showed back up. So I went to my Think Geek to see if I could find some, uh, find the the Marvel Legends Venom. And I saw these and they started putting Transformers stuff back. I was like, oh, cool, that's cool. And I saw KSI Boss, which I was like, eh, it's just the Nitro Zeus mold, but I guess I can get it. But then I saw this guy, I was like, actually, I'll get this guy instead because I don't know, I thought like this guy looked pretty cool. And plus, the KSI Boss is pretty much identical to Nitro Zeus with like no differences other than paint. So, this is like there's paint, there's a new head sculpt, and a new accessory. So, I thought, okay. Maybe this will be more worth getting. Uh, it's pretty loose, but you know what? I mean, it's it's overall a pretty decent figure. I mean, I don't have anything else to say. I mean, just, you know, it, like this is just one of those drones from Age of Extinction. It actually kind of reminds me of the Oreo character. The, if anyone remembers the Oreo bot that showed up for like five seconds that got shot down by like Hound or Optimus Prime. <laughs> like that, that was just like just random funny bit. But it's kind of what it reminds me of. But it's cool that they came, that they gave him these claws. I don't know if I have them on correctly. I hope I do. But like, yeah, look, the instructions aren't very good, so I couldn't tell. But like, yeah, I mean, from what I can remember from Age of Extinction, I mean, these these this looks pretty spot on. So that that's pretty neat. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get uh, get to the next figure, which is gonna be Venom. Okay, and here we have Venom from the, uh, what year was it? Was it 2018? I believe it was 2018 Venom movie with uh, um, Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock. So, overall, I mean, the, now, uh, I've actually only owned one Marvel Legends figure before this, and it was an old man Logan Wolverine. Now, it was the comic book version. I was, at the time, Logan had came out, so I kind of wanted to get a version of old man Logan, so... Uh, I bought that, but I sold it. It, it. I wasn't really that crazy about it. It was a good figure, but it. Just, I don't know if it was just. I don't know. But this, I wanted to get because honestly, I am a big fan of that movie design for Venom. Like, I feel like this really captures not only that original uh, comic book version of Venom, but also just the overall iterations of Venom in general. I mean, it, for one thing, this kind of reminds me a little bit of the Ultimate Spider-Man Venom. At least the video game version where he he initially started out without the spider symbol uh, and later on got it. Uh, obviously, he doesn't have the spider symbol. He has veins instead, which are actually pretty, pretty... I don't know if this is painted. I think some people say, like, I think Marvel Legends, like, prints on some, like, certain decals and stuff on their figures. So if it's, like, printed on, whatever it is, it's, it's done pretty well. Uh, there's no imperfections that are like least too noticeable. The painting on this guy, while simple, is done pretty well. Um, some like little splotches here and there, especially on the teeth, but that's to kind of be expected. I mean, he pretty much has like a, ba a bajillion like needle-like teeth, so it's gonna be hard getting perfect paint. Now, he comes with uh, some open hands, he comes with some closed fists, and then he comes with an alternate head, which I think I will be displaying with this because this is actually, this is the this is the face that I, I think he makes when he confronts Riot. I mean, I think it's just his generic smiling face, but I remember him like kind of. I remember like when he's like talking to Riot, he kind of makes like a similar face to this. But yeah, no, like this is like this is like just a really cool piece. Like obviously you can see the tongue and everything, and like the detail on it is pretty spot on. I love like the inside of the mouth. It might be a little hard to tell, but I don't know. It's just. This is some really cool sculpting. I haven't played around with the articulation, but it looks really good. It actually had a hefty feel to it. It's not big, big, but you know, it feels very sturdy, and I, I don't know. I like, I like the way this looks. Although, yeah, I mean, the, that's the only thing about double jointed ball, uh, ball joints is that it, the way it breaks with the sculpt doesn't always look the best. But it's a sacrifice for for posability, so you know, and it doesn't completely mess up the sculpt. Um, I really like this weird texture that they've given the skull. Like something about it just looks, it, it looks like that oily look that he had in the movie. And if I could actually, now, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and sw uh, swap heads. I'm actually gonna see if I could recreate this. I, hold on. Let me see if I could get the head on. I might have to, 
Uh, you got it. There you go. Okay. So yeah, look at that. That like you see, this is the this is what I like. I like this like very menacing smiling face. All right. Let's see if I can get the hand off. Uh, look. It looks. It, it's not very hard to put the uh, accessories on. So as you can see, here's. So I'm gonna see if I could uh, maybe get him into a pose. Uh. I'm trying not to be too harsh. All right, it looks like he has this ab crunch, but I, I don't know, it's really, there we go, there we go. Now it's, okay, so now it's working. All right, and for any of y'all wonder, now, oh no, I think this is the only part that I don't like are these swivel thighs, the way that breaks up the skull, cause the musculature, especially right here, is like really awesome, but Again, it's like a, it's, it's a sacrifice, and for a twenty dollar figure, I, I guess it's worth. I guess it's fine. It works. But for anyone trying to f wondering why I'm trying to get him into this pose, it's because not too long ago, I actually made a Venom sculpture. Now let's see if I can try and get him out of here. All right. All right so here we go. actually move this hand down let's get him like that so as you can see yeah I mean this is like a, this is a sculpture I made like not that long ago probably like a year or two ago but yeah and so and here's the Marvel Legends version now obviously you know I was I'm, a, I'm obviously pretty off um you know the eyes should definitely be a lot bigger maybe more maybe more streamlined I'm Kind of went with that weird, like the weird, like goopy look that he usually has in the comics and stuff. I was really basing this off like stills from the movie because you know it's hard to find like the actual CGI models, so I have to take specific scenes. And sometimes those scenes are like shrouded in darkness or whatever, so it's a little hard to get like exact details. But I'm, I, I feel like I got pretty spot on in a way. I mean, this, I think this looks pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, you know, this is just focusing on the figure again. I mean, yeah, this is really faithful at a uh, representation of the of the character, and I'm so glad we got these. I'm thinking about maybe getting some of those other like Carnage characters or whatever that they got in this line. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, for a second Marvel Legends figure, I'm definitely keeping this one. This is awesome. Uh, I hope they could do Riot, but that's probably asking for too much. So I'm hoping that they, if, whenever the second movie comes out they are they're gonna obviously have carnage i hope that you know they make a figure of him so that we can have like a you know a really cool like you know uh team up or duel or whatever but anyway so let's go ahead and move on to the next figures Alright, and here we have Master Chief and I believe the Mark V B. I'm not too sure. Uh, I believe this one is from Reach. I know that they have a new a new model, and I think that one's from the new Infinite game, but I, I'm pretty sure this one is from Halo Reach, especially considering that Cat is part of this line. And I'm pretty sure she's not showing up in Infinite, so. But just 360, so like I said, this is based off the Reach design. It's very it has all the Reach details and everything, the Halo Reach details. And he comes with a plasma pistol. He comes with the uh, not DMR. I forgot what it's called. Is it like the marksman. The so it's something. The commando rifle. I think it's called. And as you can see with Master Chief's box right here, he comes with like a variety of hands. This is I'm just using Chiefs as an example. But right here you can see the hands. He uh, they do come with the promo codes. I don't know if those come with skins or whatever. But yeah, again, just with Chiefs box. So let's go ahead. Just toss that out there and let's focus on the figures um so i've been playing with master chief and so i so i actually found this guy at target again i was going there to see how i could find venom because venom what for some reason was stupid hard to find so are these guys but venom especially was stupid hard to find i thought he was at a uh, target so i said let me just go check and i saw master chief and master chief was the hardest one to find because i couldn't even find him the first week these guys came out in stores so when I saw him, I was like, I'm, I hope he's not been open. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy him. And so, I mean, I've been playing with him. Joints feel good. Um, 
and I, I really like these figures. Not perfect, the articulation is, is pretty limited. The paint is decent. Yeah, I'd, say, I'd say definitely better than Mattel, even though I personally like the Mattel figures, at least most of them. Um, but these are definitely a step up. The paint is a lot better. Uh, I like that they use the, cr I don't know if these are called chrome visors, but you can see like the reflective, which is awesome. The sculpting is pretty awesome. The weapons are this very, very soft plastic, which makes them very bendable in a good and bad way. But um, overall, like, you know, material-wise, sculpting-wise, painting-wise, these are, these are good. These are pretty good. Um, and again, I just, I love that this is the Mark 5B. I wish it came in gray. To, so that way we could call this maybe like an unofficial Noble 6, but I'm sure someone can just take it and paint it themselves. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is really cool. It, it has this really cool butterfly joint that the McFarlane figures, the Mortal Kombat figures have. However, it's not as great, but it's still, you can get some pretty good motion. There's a swivel right here at the bicep. I wish there's like maybe a swivel right here, but as it's as it is, you know, it's a double joint, which again, while breaks the sculpt, it, it, it allows for a lot of motion. Um, these guys are able to hold their weapons well, although I think just these take more I say from the McFarlane line in that um, the, the guns are smaller than I think they should be and it, it allows them to hold their guns better, but You know it also is some like the assault rifle looks a little small on chief But even with that said now as you can see with master chief I'm gonna go ahead and pull him out now. I have him just in the standard pose, but again, here's his assault rifle and just like Chief, the Mark V has a peg on his back, although his is a lot smaller, which I think is better. Uh, but as you can see, I have Chief, Chief, Chief comes with a the, the sidekick, I believe it's called, the Not Magnum. And he can holster it, but as you can see, he doesn't have a holster right here, so is it... And as you can see with the Mark V, he doesn't have one either. Now, if... Hopefully, I don't make an ass of myself, but yeah, look, here we go. So you can just pull it out, flip it. And it's the exact same sculpt on both sides, so it doesn't break. The only thing is that, uh, if it, uh, there we go, it comes with a peg. So that way, like, let's say you want to put away the plasma rifle, or not plasma rifle, plasma pistol. Um, so there's the, there's the hole. Let's see if we can line it up. All right, and bam. This, I was telling my friend about this. This seems like, this is such a cool feature. And after seeing it, I almost feel like it's like, like wow, it took us this long just to come, just to have this feature. Like that, that's actually a really cool feature, and I'm surprised that nobody else has been able to recreate that. Now, as you can see, he has his uh, trigger holding figure. You can get a new hand; he can hold it more naturally. But yeah, so like, let's go ahead and get Chief to hold his assault rifle. Now, the commando rifle actually looks a lot better. Uh, it's more in proportion, but I, I think as you can see with the assault rifle, it's like it looks it definitely looks good There's no denying that but maybe it's just me. It just looks just a tad too small for chief But even with that said, I mean still pretty cool I actually think the mark 5 is actually shorter than master chief, which is pretty cool Nice little skill difference they got there because I think chief is the biggest one uh, Our biggest like one of the biggest Spartans um but yeah, overall, I mean, I just, I like, I don't want to linger too on, so if it seems like I'm rushing through these guys, I just want to say that, like, yeah, I mean, overall, you know, I haven't been messing with too much with this guy, but playing with Chief, uh, and I think these are called the Spartan Collection line, which makes me think that they're not going to do the, the standard, like, they're not going to do Elites or anything like that, which, in my opinion, is a shame, because these are the first 6-inch, or even, like, I think these are 7-inch, maybe? These are the first really big Spartans that are characters that we got from Halo since like probably, I don't even know if Joyride did, did these big, they probably did. I, I, was, I wasn't there for Joyride, but I was there for the McFarlane stuff. And it's awesome because you can put these guys, you can put like Chief with Doom Guy and they actually, now granted Doom Guy should probably be like more right here, but still it's like, even if they're right here, if they're equal height, it's the coolest thing ever to have Chief and the Doom Slayer together and actually look proportional somewhat. So, I mean, this, this is an awesome scale, and I was hoping that we get more characters in this scale, but as it stands, I think this is just for Spartan characters. So, you know, do with that as you may, but it, I, I'll, either way, I mean, if you're just gonna get the Chief, definitely get Chief, because he, it, 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 these, these are pretty cool little figures. Again, the articulation, 
not 100% the best, but you can still, it's, it, it's just slightly better than Mattel, and I would say definitely better than McFarlane. I know a lot of people love McFarlane, but for me, their paint jobs and sculpts were fantastic. Their articulations always seem to kind of lack in some way. But nevertheless, you know, again, for 20 bucks, these guys are awesome, like six inch, six inch size figures. Uh, def definitely at least get the Chief if you can find him. He's really hard to find right now, but I'm sure once the game comes out, he'll be everywhere. So yeah, I mean, these are awesome. I, I, I'm really loving them so far. Let's go ahead and get to the three, that was it, the three quarter inch? Something like that, the, the smaller guys. All right, guys. So here we're back with the uh, I, I don't know over three inch figures, <laughs> and so yeah, I mean as you can saw as you saw, I mean pretty simple packaging, not too bad. Now as you can see, um, so I get all the characters standing up except in typical Jackal faction fashion. I need a base to hold this guy up. At least they give us a base, unlike McFarlane or Mattel. Well, actually, I don't think Mattel even gave us a jackal. But nevertheless, unlike McFarlane, where they never even gave us a base, at least they gave us a base with this jackal so you can stand. Although I'm using the one with that came with the the blue guy and what's his name? Uh, I believe it's uh, it's Yega Urdumnai. I I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but. So um, yeah, I mean, like I said, here we got you know all the all the characters. I don't think this is all of them. I still need to get the UNSC Marine. There's the the Marine with the grunt pack, and then there's some other vehicle packs that are coming out soon. But other than that, this is basically all of them. Now I did actually go out and buy a second oops, a second brute uh, uh, jump pack banished brute, whatever you call it, because I actually really wanna. Um, go ahead and like army build these guys because the one thing I'm actually really liking about these smaller guys is that even though they're tiny they're cheaper each one costs about 10 bucks and they have the two packs or three packs that can be like 20 bucks so with all that together you're basically you're not you're spending like barely any money to be able to kind of army build and so that's actually something that I, I like. I, I really like because they're not too small to where you know they're like too tiny to notice the details or anything. But they're not so big that they're 20 bucks or 25 bucks. You can army build these guys, which is awesome. So I plan on getting the grunt with the marine. I plan on getting like a couple extra marines, a couple extra grunts. You know the, the elite warlord, all those stuff, so that I can army build these guys. And the detail for these little figures are pretty good. I mean, you can see right here. I mean. Oh, right here it's like it's it's pretty good detail um now this is apparently a sniper rifle that shoots electro bolts i don't know about that but here's the pulse carbine with the white guy yeah, although i think that's sadly taking over the regular carbine uh here's the uh jackal sniper which oh boy i hope <laughs> i hope these guys aren't a pain in the butt like they were on halo 2 legendary which i actually completed my friend a couple months ago that was a such a pain in the butt and again, here's one of the big bad guys, uh, Jaeger Udumni. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it, it really cool concept. Apparently this is a Silent Shadow character, which is pretty cool to see those guys in canon. Um, he has this really cool bladed shield, a really cool energy sword. Um, and I think what I plan on doing now, obviously we have here the pilot. Oh, uh, let's see if I can stand him up better. Uh, we have the pilot, ah, oh, whatever. And, uh, as you can see, so like, I think what I'm probably gonna do is this, because we saw Brutes carrying the Bulldog. I'm probably gonna see if I can get the Brute the Bulldog. I mean, the handle's too small, so it might not work, but I'll see if I can do that, and that way, because, I don't know, I feel, I mean, unless unless he actually uses the Bulldog in the game, I don't, so far we haven't seen the pilot use any weapons. But here you can see, I just noticed this, so yeah, I mean, they all come with pegs, and I don't think they're removable. I think they're like stuck on there, or not stuck, but like they're permanently on there. So yeah, you can like, just uh, there we go. So yeah, I mean that's pretty cool. I think they all come with storage in some way. Uh, although 
Uh, it doesn't look like the jackals. I don't think the banished characters come with any storage, but you know the the Spartan characters do. They don't have all the articulation that the uh, reg that the six inch guys come in. Although this guy has like double jointed knees, which is pretty cool. But they don't have this like the exact same. Like they don't have the butterfly joints or the double jointed elbows, which is a bit of a shame. But it's understandable because these guys are so much smaller. But it also does make it harder for them to hold their weapons properly. Uh, the, the the boxes I think come with again the promo codes, but overall I mean yeah I'm actually really looking for I really want to see if I can army build these guys I think that'd be super awesome just to have some really like a really cool uh, UNSC and banish thing going on and again uh, here's what I'm talking about so like here's like the new Mark V I think it's the Mark V from Halo Infinite and here's the Mark V B from Halo Reach there are a lot of similarities but it, but there's also some big differences with proportions and everything so i think that these guys are just going to be throwback characters for reach and that these guys are the actual infinite characters which is fine by me they look really cool but yeah so i was gonna open the warthog with this but because there's so many characters i decided just like we're gonna save that for last so let's again let's not waste too many time too much time this video is super long but let's go ahead and get to the warthog Alright guys, so here we have the Warthog, and um, as far as I can tell, now I, I don't think, I don't think I'm missing anything, I hope not, uh, that the, the, the it's, it's a fairly simple construction, um, but as you can see, but like, you can probably imagine these are for, these are for like 3 inch figures, these, this is a pretty, pretty small Warthog. But overall, pretty cool, and I like that. Like it came with the little gasolines. Now you still have to put those together. Um, let's see if I wonder if this. No, the steering wheel is in one piece, but it still is. Like you can see, like the little. If you can, I'm sorry about the lighting, but you can see like the little details and stuff going on there. As you can see, you know. So like I imagine this probably can roll pretty far. You can see like the detail underneath, like with the suspensions and everything. Which is pretty neat. I saw that they have a banished ghost coming out, and I'm really excited to get that. Again, it comes with the elite warlords, so that'll be pretty exciting to get. Um, and here you have Master Chief. Now, mine comes with a pretty uh, stiff foot, so I don't want to push it too far. But I want I'm gonna see if I can at least get him in the vehicle. Um, let's see. And again, he comes with an assault rifle. Um, so let's go ahead and try and fit him. I don't know if it, if I have to, maybe I'll just put his legs in straight. Oh, all right. Uh, um, is that, let me see, let me see if I can. Oh man, the lighting is, it's getting darker soon. So what's supposed to be five o'clock for me is actually is pretty dark, but I don't know, I hope that's decent. I'll probably fix it later. Um, I'm just casting a massive shadow on the thing you can see, but uh, let's see if I can get the, I, I brought in the other figure, see if uh, I can put this guy in. So let's see. So it looks like there's these handles that you could probably uh, put his hand in. All right, now sadly, the the turret does not rotate however you can move it like up and down um and then we'll have mr uh uh mr pilot here uh go in and he can be like a little navigator and boom so here we have like three figures and yeah this looks this looks really really cool i like the way this came out uh, again, just like the other figures, painting is decent, you know, it's it's good for what it is for like a little action figure. Um, and yeah, overall, and like the details are spot on. I, again, I just love the little, like the little canisters and stuff and the antenna you have to put on. I don't know if I have it on correctly, but you know, I'll just, I'll have to, I'll just fix it later. Um, but yeah, I mean, just overall, I mean, just a great little action, just a great little playset that you can have with your characters. Uh, I mean, imagine if, if you, I mean, again, these things are 20 bucks. Imagine if you were just willing to spend like 60 bucks to get three Warthogs. 
and you could have like a, a whole crew of these guys just like you know driving into battle or something like that like that's I, that's what I really appreciate the most about this line is how they made everything very inexpensive so that you can really just kind of army build these dudes and hopefully just I mean and, and just like make some really cool photographies or sh like stop motions or something like that and yes I mean that's again that's really awesome like uh but um yeah that's about it I'm um, sorry if I rushed through these uh, I'm just trying not only am I just trying to make the the video shorter but you know it's just other things here and there like live stuff so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here so let's go ahead and end the video and yeah all right, so here we have everybody, and I actually wanted to mention real quick. So with the the elite figures, it looks like they and the jackals too. They actually have the the joints on both. Uh, I don't know if they're knees, the both knee joints. That's actually really awesome. Unlike either McFarlane or Mattel, these guys actually have more posability, and they're only three inches, so that's that's awesome. But anyways, so yeah, I mean, just to end out the video. Oh, and uh, again, another thing. I have Spawn and Venom here. I forgot to do a uh, do a little. Um, what do you call it? Comparison with them, but it's just kind of it's fun, it's kind of fun to see both uh, Tom McFarlane characters together. But again, so uh, <laughs> let's uh, go ahead and end this. Thank y'all for watching the video. Uh, I might actually post the pictures of these guys on my Instagram. That might be one of my, the first pictures I do in a while. But yeah, so just go ahead and follow me on on Instagram, Giovanni Arts and Collectibles. I post pictures of my collectibles, my sculptures, you know, my school stuff. So yeah, just go ahead and uh, just check that out. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye.